angry guy here and broke girls are in the streets begging for cigarettes. If you're enjoying the content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Broke girls are in the streets begging for cigarettes. And, you know, guys, just like this, just like they said that they don't need no man to hold a door for them, well, then they also don't need no man to pay a bill for them. Let's look at this comment from one of my subscribers. He says, I've been in public service out here in New York City for the last 25 years, and they're already going into poverty. It's utterly ridiculous when a 20-year-old is begging for a cigarette in front of our building at 3 a.m. When I was that age, I was doing 16-hour shifts through the night on snow-covered construction sites, had a supermodel-esque girlfriend, and was driving a new iron Iraq Z. Anybody see a problem here? Now at 54, I'm still out the door by 3 a.m. every morning and still bust my butt as a mechanic who's had spinal surgery and reconstructive shoulder surgery. Education plus hard work equals money. Simple equation. Well, thank you for that great comment. And it's so interesting because these women, these young women, they thought that they were going to have it all. They thought that they didn't need a man. They were Miss Independent. They would literally put they would literally put that they're independent in their bio on social media. And now look at them. They're hungry. They're thirsty. They can't even afford to. <laughs> they can't even afford to pay for their own cigarettes. And, you know, I understand, baby. I understand, baby girl. It's hard out there in those streets. But you know what? You're going to make it because you are Miss Independent, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-L, whatever. It means you can pay for your own stuff. It means you can pay for your own stuff, baby girl. Who lives in Colorado? Who lives in Colorado? Have you been born and raised there? How have you gotten used to this cost of living out here? It is really hard for me to find a decent place to live. And then when I do find something, it's so much money and it doesn't make any any sense. Like my apartment that I was living in, one bedroom, one bath for $18.80 a month. Now I moved into another apartment with this private landlord, which I would never do again. And it's one bedroom, one bath, 1500 but everything is old. I have to update everything. And it's more time getting this place together versus just, you know, going renting with an apartment at an apartment complex. But I'm not understanding the service. I am always getting crappy service when it comes to um where i'm staying where i'm living like the first apartment it wasn't even clean they wouldn't admit it but it wasn't clean I, and they they told me oh you should hire a cleaning company we'll reimburse you that tells me that you you know ain't nothing been clean and it was hair everywhere it was disgusting but it turned out being the, the, i love that place it's just too expensive it was going up to like 1940 or something like that if i stayed another year so i moved to this cheaper spot and this place looks like it should be 900 dollars. and when i finally like like thoroughly looked around and everything it was the dude didn't even clean everything like he's told me that he was going to do and i told him my bad experiences and then you still don't clean you want to blame it on the cleaning company when you you damn well did not even get a cleaning company i had to get another cleaning company for this apartment so i had that had to get that clean yes he's going to pay for it and it's just 
things that weren't working. The fridge wasn't working. Then he, then somehow he fixed the fridge. Then the microwave isn't working. Like the shit is ghetto. It's just ghetto out here. And I, I, I just, it is, I'm venting right now. I have to, because it's been a long and a hard week and this is just adding on. And I'm realizing that my landlord is not even trustworthy. Like he claims to be. So that's another thing that's getting me. And it's, just this living situation out here is just getting on my nerves. You know, guys, it's so interesting because women take men for granted. They take it for granted having a man in the house that will stand up to these people. They'll stand up to the landlord. They'll go and hire an attorney if necessary. They'll cover the cost of living. You know, she's spending, she was spending before $20,000 a year for rent. Now she's spending $18,000 a year for rent. OK, and I guarantee you she's not making money like that, because if she was, she wouldn't be crying on social media over that. That is eighteen thousand dollars a year, fifteen hundred dollars a month. That is eighteen thousand dollars a year on just rent. And as she said, the place where she's living right now, it doesn't it's 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 not in good shape. So that means it's costing her even more to live there. And, you know, then you have to take into consideration the cost of food and everything women took for granted completely having a man to subsidize their living. And they're still doing it. They're still going out. They're still shaming men on social media. What they're doing now is they're trying to do the whole reverse thing where they're like, oh, we love men. We love you and all this other nonsense. Here's the truth about it. You're going to start having women that will say things like they don't care about how much money a man makes, which is what women in, what, what women in other countries do. Here's, but the thing is, like, for example, you'll have a woman from Colombia and she'll say she doesn't care how much money a man makes. And she's a gold digger. But the thing is that she is smart because she knows not to say that. She she knows that by not saying how much money a man, saying that she doesn't care about how much money a man makes, she's disarming men who are going to naturally say that, oh, this is a woman who's only looking for my money. Okay. And she's also going to keep her options open. This way, when hard times arrive, you know, or if she just needs to like survive, she can go and pick from these guys who make 70 or even $100,000 a year. She doesn't want a guy who makes 70000 she doesn't want a guy who makes a hundred. She wants a millionaire, but she's gonna have she's gonna have those dudes available to her because women always have dudes in the backup. They always have dudes in the backup. So she'll go, she'll take that dude, and he'll give her a pretty good life. She'll live reasonably well. She won't have any bills to pay, and she'll use him as a come up. All right, so he'll be her Plan C guy. She'll use him as a come up. You know, have him pay for her bills, cover all of her you know, all of her living, she'll go out and get a job, whatever money, his money is her money and her money is her money. So she puts all of her money in the bank and she's still buying whatever she wants. And then she's working on another dude at the same time. So by, so by, you know, give it a little bit of time, she eventually goes and finds that millionaire. And, you know, when she gets that guy, she drops this guy and goes and moves and, and just transitions to him immediately. And you're going to have a lot of women in Western society doing that now, thinking that they're smart enough to pull that off. But a lot of these women, they don't have anything to offer. They don't cook. They don't clean. They don't have any traditional values. They have high body counts. I'm telling you right now, you can tell when a woman has a body count. Give it, a, give it enough time. You can start to tell when a woman has a body count. One big indicator of a lot of these women, and they don't even realize it. A lot of women don't even realize it. When they start saying things like they're traditional and they want to wait for marriage, and for example... You can start, guys can start to fill them out very quickly. For example, do you have any tattoos? Uh, yes, I have a couple of tattoos, but those are just expressions. Those are just expressions of, of myself. And bro, if you have tattoos, you have a body count. Like, it's like you could, you can start, you can tell just based on their behavior, you know. Oh, so you've been out in the streets. Like, how old are you? I'm 28. Okay, and you're a virgin. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm waiting for the right one. Uh huh. Um, yeah, you're, you're a 20. Yeah, no, you've been out in this, and you, and this is how you dress. This, I, I'm just going out to dance with my friends. Guys, these women, they can't they don't even know how to hide it properly anymore. Oh, you're in church. Oh, no, she's in church and she's living this life. Guys, they are such liars. Liars. And any man would experience once you stop, once you stop, you know, believing, you know, thinking that, you know, they're telling the truth. Once you look at everything from as a lie and then try to look, find the truth in the lies, you can easily start to tell when they're lying, you know? You could easily tell that it's a lie. You're like, oh, it's a liar off the bat. And then you start looking for truth in the lies. Because if you do it any other way, then they're always going to deceive you. But, I mean, these women, it's, it's just crazy that they're trying to pull this off.
it really y'all really trying to pull this off y'all really trying to do this guys if you're enjoying this content help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again Broke girls are in the streets begging for cigarettes. What do you guys think about this topic and everything we discuss here today? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.